Now we're going to do a conversion that doesn't involve Avogadro's number. Um, they're going to ask how many moles and so many grams of a chemical compound. And in this case, I chose calcium chloride. Calcium chloride is a common um, component of chemical hot packs. When calcium chloride dissolves, it's very exothermic. It warms the water. Um, so in order to solve this, whenever they say how many moles and so many grams, notice they didn't ask about atoms or, um, or molecules or compounds. They asked how many moles and how many grams. It's one step when you go from moles to grams, always. You don't need Avogadro's number because they didn't ask for atoms or molecules or compounds. Um, but you start with what you're given, the 42 grams. And then you go to a periodic table, and you have to find out, this is the only place to get mass and to put it in one mole. So every single square on the periodic table is equal to one mole. So every element that is inside one of those um, boxes on the periodic table, that's one mole. And every single one of those boxes has 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in that box. Um, again, we're only interested in grams here, so we have to use the bottom part of the periodic table where it has the mass. And if we look up calcium, um, atomic number 20, you'll find that the mass is approximately 40, 40 grams. But in calcium chloride, um, since we balance the charge, we have two chloride compounds. And if you use a periodic table, I'll go to three sig figs, you can go to as many as you want. Um, typically, you don't go to more than four when you're doing this, but um, you will find that it's about 35.5 for each chloride. Now, I have two chlorides, so I have to add this twice or take it times two. And again, the 40 is for the calcium. The 35.5 is for the chloride times two. And then whatever mass, and this always comes from your periodic table, whatever mass you found, you've just found the formula weight, or um, because you've done it in grams per mole, it's called the molar mass now. Um, whatever mass you find is divided into whatever number you started with, and it's always paired with one mole. Just like Avogadro's number is always paired with one mole, your molar mass or the mass that you need on the bottom to cancel out the mass that you started with, um, will always be paired with one mole. And again, we don't use Avogadro's number because they didn't ask how many atoms. They didn't ask how many molecules. In this case, if they're being really formal, um, calcium chloride is an ionic compound, and they call it a formula unit, but they're very lazy about using that term formula unit, so you may not see it, but if you do see it, you can mentally replace the word formula unit with the word molecule. It just means um, it means how many molecules or formula units or ionic compounds in, in that um, particular equation. So I'm going to do 42 divided by 35.5. Plus 35.5. And again, just like Avogadro's number, you can only pair this mass with one mole. So right now you're only ever using the number one next to mole. Um, and if you do this to three sig figs, because that's what we began with, you get 0.378 moles. And you should get into the habit, because soon we'll be going from one chemical compound to another, of writing down the name of the chemical compound and drawing a box around your answer.